Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jill with At Home with Jill. And in today's video, we're doing part two of Cade's room um, declutter, decluttering his bedroom. Um, okay, so to be honest, guys, in this video, I'm not actually doing anything more in his actual bedroom. Um, I just have not had time to get back in there and complete what I started, but this video is basically the rest of the footage that I did not put in the first video, so it's just everything after I got done in his bedroom. It's um, dealing with all of the stuff that I took out of his bedroom. Um, that's basically what this video is. Um, the reason why is because I have decided that actually doing this in the girl's room is more important than finishing up Cade's room right now. Um, and I know a lot of you will probably disagree with that, but the way my brain works with my ADHD is like when I get bored with something, it's really hard to do it. Um, and right now the girl's room looks about as bad as Cade's room did in the last video. And I want to now do this in their room. Like I want to go in there when they're not um, in there. I want to go in with the trash bags. I want to get rid of everything that I think they don't need or want in there and rearrange and just make their room, um, work more efficiently for them and be so that they can keep it clean easier. Um, just like now Cade's able to keep his room clean easier after I did this. Um, and so like the mess in his closet and the overstuffed dresser drawers, like right now that's just not a big deal to me because their room is so much worse. And so with ADHD, once something is almost done, it's really hard to go back and finish it. And so welcome to my life. Um, that is just how it is here. And I can't help it, but I have zero motivation to get back in Cade's room and finish it. But I have so much motivation to go in and start the girl's room. So that's what I'm going to do. Because when I'm motivated to do something, I do a lot better of a job. Um, if that makes sense. So just bear with me and thank you guys for being understanding um, with the way I work and I don't finish a lot of things that I start and that might be annoying. So thank you for just being patient with me. Um, but anyway, also I'm probably going to start using that desk in my room again. I just haven't figured out what I'm going to do with it yet, but I do love that desk a lot. Um, and so I think we're going to try to utilize it in our bedroom, but, um, Anyway, I do have a quick little review um, to share with you guys, so if you would please just stick with me through this review, and then we will get back into the video. Hey guys, really quickly, I want to take a minute to just share with you a review of this um, Magellan Red Light Therapy face mask that I have been using. Achieve salon level beauty in your home. Okay, so that's what this is. I'm going to show you the back of the box really quick because there are seven colors of LED lights in this face mask. And I have a mask for my face and for my neck. Um, okay, so the red light is for anti-aging and increasing collagen. So who doesn't want that? Sorry, it's, I think it's going to get blurry on my face when this is on the screen. So the blue light calms sensitive skin and helps reduce like greasy or oily skin. The yellow light helps to... Um, fade like dark spots and to reduce um, skin sensitivity. And then I, I never know how to pronounce this. Um, is it cyan or cayenne? 
um, the cayenne light or cyan, 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 um, helps to boost cell metabolism. The infrared light penetrates superficial and deep tissues. The purple light improves dull skin and tightens skin. And then the green light helps to balance pigmentation and fades scars. So actually, Reading this again, I wish that I had been using the green light more and I'm going to from here on out. What I've been doing mostly is I've been using the red light and I have been using the yellow light. So I mostly use red and yellow. I like the blue one because it honestly is so relaxing. Like once the light turns to blue, you just literally feel your whole body relax. I don't know how to explain it it like is so calming okay but about the green light and why I want to start using that more I actually do kind of have a lot of scars on my face so let me show you right here I used to have um, a piercing right here so that left a really big scar um, I have a scar you can't really see it because I got my nose pierced to hide it, but I had a really bad reaction to a nose ring one time and had a really bad scar, and then I ended up getting it pierced again on top of it. Um, but I have some pigmentation, like this is some hyperpigmentation. This happened um, when I was pregnant, um, and it's just never gone away. Um, so anyway, and I have a few little like scars over here just from like and stuff like that um but anyway I have been using this for a few weeks now and I honestly do notice a difference you guys um like I notice a difference in like mostly my forehead wrinkles and then like this area over here like from the side like I don't know how to really explain like what exactly I notice um, also right now it's freezing if you can't tell I'm wearing a winter coat in the house and when I'm cold um, my skin does get pretty blotchy so my skin looks blotchy right now I was outside and it's kind of windy um, and so that's why I have that but I honestly I do notice like a difference um, with like my eye area um, like my smile lines over here I'm noticing a difference some improvement and the like wrinkles on my forehead I'm noticing um, a difference like a positive difference um, but anyway I'm gonna just share with you the mask now um, so when I filmed the process of it it was about I want to say a week or two ago so I've been using it for a while I filmed it um, when I first initially used it and now I've been using it since it's just taken me a while to finally like get this video put together and everything so anyway um, oh, did I even mention the brand? It's Magellan and it is the same company as this RF um, facial device that I had been using as well. Um, so I kind of took a break from this because I've been trying the mask out and I really wanted to see like what the mask is doing. I didn't want to be doing both um, and you know, getting not accurate results. But this stuff, I mean this thing it works so good um, you see immediate results with this the light mask you're gonna see more results like over time um, but I what I love about the mask is you don't have to like get stuff all over your face you literally just you have your clean dry face and you just lay down and have that mask on and it feels so good it's so relaxing and then you when you're done then you resume your normal skincare um, all right so now that I have blabbed way too long, let's get into the footage of this. Alrighty guys, so this is the Magellan LED light therapy face mask. I love that this mask comes with the neck and chest portion if you choose that. Um, it is more expensive that way. You can definitely just get the face mask if that's what you want and it is definitely um, 
more affordable that way. But I mean, to have the skincare on your chest as well as your face, I just love that option. Um, and then I love this little remote here. The remote plugs into the face mask and the neck mask so that you don't have to be plugged into like the wall or anything. You can walk around with this. Um, but I like to lay down and relax when I'm wearing it. Um, the first thing I do is just get all of the hair off of my face and off my neck. I just put it all up because you don't want hair getting in your way when you're trying to relax with something on your neck and your face. I mean, let's just be real. And I'm taking my makeup off because you want to do this with a clean, dry face. So just make sure your face is nice and clean and that there's no like lotion or skincare or anything on there. And then I'm just putting on the little neck piece and the face mask and what I did not show here is that it actually did come with eye pads to protect your eyes I did not like it with the eye pads it felt really uncomfortable and it, it was hurting my nose but it feels super comfortable without them and yes I had to do a funny little dance here because I just felt so goofy wearing this thing um but you know we're not trying to win any beauty contests when we're doing our skincare and getting our um you know anti-aging treatment on um but I just like to get comfy in bed and lay back and relax you can do 10 minutes um per color if you're going to do more than one color or you can just do 20 minutes of one color you don't want to exceed 20 minutes per session and then you want to do no more than three to five sessions per week so I am going to try to do five times a week from here on out, but I've been doing about two to three just because I've been so busy. But once I've seen the results of how well this has worked, I really want to do it more often now. Um, and then when you're done, you just follow up with your normal skincare. I am just putting on some facial oil and my skin felt so good, you guys. It felt honestly felt tighter right away um but now that it's been a couple weeks I've really noticed a lot of differences here are all the colors in the dark I wanted to show you it without the bright sunshiny day um but thank you guys so much for watching that review if you're interested in the Magellan um face mask or any other other of their products make sure you click the link in my bio and I will have a coupon code for you guys as well um, the link in my bio just lets them know that you came from my channel so it helps me out thank you guys so much and now we are back into this video and what's going on here is that Cade is going through all of the stuff that I took out of his room and he did such a good job with you a, a good job with this you guys like he did a really good job at only picking out what was really important to him to bring back into his room and he let me get rid of everything else everything else um the only things he kept was like a handful of drawings and um some drawings of inventions that he's had so he kind of comes up with inventions in his head and then he sketches them out and I just think it's super awesome so I knew I wanted him to go through the stack of papers I took out of his room and he just did such a good job I'm really proud of him I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day Trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking And the wind blowing in the starts to fade 
things are gonna go my way I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken And take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back Gonna let the past stay in the cold I will listen to the ocean Let its unsaid words be spoken And I'll let my mind be carried by the waves Oh, I will open up my eyes So I can see the light Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings So I can fly Everything is distributed. I just have laundry right there. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly. Oh, and the darkness starts to fade. Feels like things are gonna go my way. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. You guys, getting all of this crap out of my house was the most satisfying thing I have done in a really long time. <laughs> like, I can't even tell you how good this felt. Um, yeah. You had me at a Alrighty guys, that is basically it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the Magellan link in my bio and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!